Amen. Welcome back, beautiful people, man, brothers and sisters, kings and queens all around the world. It's your boy, Mdudoozy, you feel me? Street name 16. So I'm using the back camera, so I don't know how it's looking. I hope it turns out best. But yeah, as you can see by the title, man, before I say that, shout out to brothers and sisters. Check me out for the first time. It's probably going to be a lot of y'all because of the title of this video, you feel me? <laughs> yeah um but yeah and also for all my returning subscribers and everyone who just views my channel i see the views are going up so man shout out to y'all you feel me it's all a blessing you feel me i got my beanie on one time just want to show you out of here but yeah like without wasting no time getting to it so the topic being a virgin at 24 years old yes sir so i didn't want to talk about this when the holy spirit brought it up mainly because it's not something i'm really ashamed of you feel me like i'm quite proud that i'm a virgin knowing what i know i'm proud but it's because of how much attention it draws to you and basically now okay so i'm gonna be talking about it though you feel me all for for god's glory and I'm just be I'll be talking about like all aspects about being a virgin. So yeah, like I'll be 24 this year. I just turned 24 on the 16th of April, you feel me? Proud virgin. And okay, let me start by explaining the the chances I had to lose my virginity. Yeah, so really two major chances one when i was 12 i was 12 12 or 13 so there was this other this girl in the complex uh this girl if she knows she knows she was my first kiss but yeah <laughs> it's awkward talking about this man but yeah like so this girl i'm gonna name her a i'm gonna name her a so me and A, you know, like, honestly, A had a liking towards me. Like, because A was maybe one year older. I didn't, but like in terms of natural looks, to be really honest, like A, I wasn't as attracted to A. But, you know, A pushed. She was like, you know, no, give me a chance. This, this. She wasn't bad, you feel me? Don't get me wrong. But I wasn't as attracted to her. But she pushed, she pushed, yo man, if y'all know A, like, and only if you know, you know, but if you know A, man, yo, she's a pusher, man, like, or she was, let me not disrespect her, you feel me, <laughs> man, she pushed, she pushed, um, yeah, then until finally, maybe like we kissed, then we started kissing regularly, you feel me, then it got to a point where things were getting heated because, a was, A used to be alone because her parents went to work, you feel me, like probably like a nine to five. So she used to have her house to herself, whereas in, at my crib, I have like a stay at home, a stay at home mom. So you feel me, my mom's always there, except for, you know, a few occasions where she leaves. But so we're mostly at A's house at a certain period. And this is where things were getting spicy, you feel me? Like, we had just, you know, like, just enjoyed kissing, like. And plus, A, you know, uh, I was A's, or she was my first kiss. I probably wasn't hers. hers. <laughs> my bad for all this. Uh, but yeah, let me get relaxed, you feel me? So, with A, she used to tell me, like, ah, you're such a good kisser, this, this, and... She was probably like into me, into me. She probably liked me. So that's why I feel like she was pushing. So she wanted to take it to that next level, you feel me? Um, yeah, so there was a point like one time we're at a house. She was on top of me. And, you know, like we kissed, kissed. Then we took like some time out. Then I was like, you know, I gave her some thought. I'm like... When I was talking to her, I was like, hey, you know, I ain't really trying to 
lose it this young. You feel me? I was still a koala back then, no cap, you feel me? And with A, um, she honestly, she took it better than I had expected. She's like, yeah, nah, don't worry, also me. Uh, let's just, you know, keep it on this level. And although it was hard keeping it on that level, because, you know, things escalate so easy, man. Like, especially, like, how active we were back then, you feel me? Like, things really were escalating, but they hadn't escalated to that point. So that was, like, really one of the chances where I could have broken it, I won't lie. Like, if I believe, if I didn't have that conversation with A, like, I would have been lost it at 12, 13. But yeah, fast forward, you know, I've had many, I won't say many, but I've had opportunities, but they weren't, they didn't really stand out as these two. Then the second time was the story time where I told you, uh, I brought, or the sister invited me randomly to her, to her, 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 her apartment. <coughs> My bad, I'm recovering from you know i'm saying this cold but yeah like those were the yeah that second time also like i believe if i went for it me and the sister could have got it on but besides that man like it it hasn't been hard okay i won't lie like man i have been getting I, i've just been getting like i've been getting tempted over the years but it was nothing as serious, you feel me, like. But yeah, like, I've, I've gotten just, like, maybe temptations with someone's wife. And I know, like, maybe if it had happened where I, I wasn't in, no, if I didn't know Christ. But now that I know Christ, I can just tell it's a, it's a temptation from the devil, you feel me. Yeah, but, like, girls be willing, you feel me, like, honestly, I believe I'm a handsome brother. So, yeah, like, you know, like, and if you are not controlling your, your sexual energy, you know, I practice semen retention since last year. But, yeah, practice semen retention. So, I understand that it's really hard to really control yourself. Like, I remember, take it back to my 23rd birthday, you feel me? I had went to one of the brother's cribs. It wasn't my plan, but, you know, brothers came, they picked me up because uh, I had gone out on my 23rd birthday, but I went out during the day. So when I came home, it was probably like eight at night. They came, they they swooped me like, now nah, we're going to go chill at the homie's crib. So I went there to the homie's crib, you feel me? Then they had two sisters there, two sisters I didn't know, and the homies, you feel me? So, um, yeah, like, one of the conversations uh, led to, you know, how long can you go without having sex? And most, uh, and the sisters, the brothers, you know, they were talking about they can't go, like, maybe three months, but, like, more than that, it's like, why would you even want to do that to yourself? You feel me? Unless you believe in God, you're against sex before marriage. Brothers ain't lasting, sisters ain't lasting, you feel me? Like, you give in to the flesh, that's what we call it. So, yeah, like, I understand that it's hard overcoming the flesh. So many sisters, man, like, that I've come across, not all attempted to sleep with me, but many, you know, they be sexual, and I don't blame them, but, yeah, honestly, like, I've been able to be a virgin, and, you know, I they used to, to come... There used to be points where I was really ashamed of it. I won't lie. Like, you know, even I didn't even want to mention it because the way brothers and sisters reacted. Like, I, I won't lie. Like, even at this age, I know, like, I'm not afraid as I'm speaking out, like, to tell people, yeah, I'm a virgin. Most people don't believe it because I feel like it's the self-image. Like, you probably won't think that I'm a virgin. It's not something you just assume. It's not something you can discern with the eyes, in my opinion. You feel what I'm saying? Hey Amen. It's mad awkward because people be walking past and I just be out here shooting a, a YouTube video. But yeah. 
um you know what i'm saying like it's not something you can you can discern if i'm not wrong you feel me like you can't be like anna unless you judge by judge a book by its cover which is not true like many of y'all will probably i don't know like because you don't might not know me in real life but if you do you probably didn't think i was a virgin because it's not something i speak about a lot I will talk about it if it comes a point, but honestly, I feel like I don't want to because I'm not ashamed, but it's that um, attention. <gasps> oh, you're a virgin. Um, then it comes with questions like, uh, yo, so don't you, so you believe in no sex before marriage? Oh, why are you a virgin? This, this, and yeah, it's just things I don't mind answering, but I don't want to at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, like, um, yeah, I used to be ashamed because brothers will laugh at you, man. Like, most brothers, and I know it might even happen in future, but I believe I'm, I'm strong, you feel me? But, like, yeah, brothers laugh at you. Brothers think you're weak. You're scared of girls. You know, like, their own mindset. Like, there's a brother I was talking to. <laughs> and, you know, I know the brother was talking as homies, you feel me? Uh, but we're not as close, you feel me? But, yeah, like... So the brother, uh, we was just talking about sex before marriage type of vibes. So then I was asking him, I was like, so we're talking, you know, obviously he doesn't believe. So uh, I was putting it out there. So like, dog, you won't, uh, like, you're not doing, you're not going to go without sex before marriage. Or like, you you don't believe in sex before marriage. And he's like, nah, like, me nanyeng. I'm a sperms ekanda. Like I won't stay with sperms in my head. And you know, people are laughing. It was a good joke though. But you know, like this is the mindset people have behind those who practice celibacy, who are virgins. So I don't blame it comes with the world. But yeah, at a at a point I was I don't know, I had to disclose it because of the reaction. And even about this, uh, you know, about uh, how I was telling y'all that on my 23rd birthday, I went to the homie's house. So then um, there was a homie there who didn't know I was a virgin. So I disclosed it. I was like, nah, I'm a virgin. And also the sisters were with, you know. Um, so, okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, the homie's like, you're a virgin. Like, I can't stay two days without pasta, man. You can ask my girl if you me. So he was just, he was utterly shocked, like, oh. And you know, I don't blame the brothers. They've also, they were drinking. They were, I'm not sure if they smoked, you feel me. But yeah, like, you know, like, they were just mad shocked. But, you know, also the sisters, man, like, they were shocked. But shout out to that one sister, man. Like, I don't want to name her name. Uh, but, you know, she really encouraged me. She's like, oh, you know, like, you could see she was deep in thought. And she's like, you know, you're going to make a girl very happy one day i was just you know i kept that in my heart i was like nah shout out to her but yeah i've been a virgin um you know proud also like proud as to say nothing uh i don't feel ashamed about it uh one of the what can i say um other aspects of being a virgin i feel like uh you know like the best way i can explain it if you've never drank alcohol, you don't know alco the, the effects of alcohol or alcohol doesn't have that pull on you. You feel me? So everyone you meet on some, nah, I don't drink. They're like, what? Hey, drinking is the way. You feel me? But yeah, since I'm a virgin, like I've realized people are, are sexual and I don't blame them because that's what I've realized. Also me, you know, I've been addicted to different substances. Also like hardcore substances like lean. You know what I'm saying? Others, like, I've played around with Xanax, but it wasn't on a consistent basis, basis that I did it. But yeah, like, if you've never tried these things, you won't have that pull. Or, but these things are normal nowadays. Like, people be like, especially females, will be, they be sexual. You know, not all, like, I won't lie, but like, you know, it's the norm. Like, drinking, how drinking and smoking are the norm. Being sexual is a norm, you feel me? Like, I feel like, you know, like once you, you, you know, you're chopping it up with the female, you're getting to know her. 
it's like it's kind of on her mind it's either she practices no sex before marriage or it's like me and this homie are, are about to get it on you feel me so yeah um but yeah besides that um yeah i believe i'm a you know follower of christ i believe i don't believe in sex before marriage i believe i will break it when i am in a marriage yeah but you know there's it's so many like people always try to convince you out of your decision like i've heard you must taste different girls before you settle down um and you know which i believe because uh i feel like i'm someone with wisdom i discern it and i'm like okay there is some truth in that statement but i believe if i look at it in terms of drinking like if you had never drank and you chose Russian 1818 to be your drink for the rest of your life. It still would have hit the same, you feel me? But it's different like if you've drank Bileato, if you've drank Ciroc, if you've drank Hennessy, this, this. Then you're able to be like, you know what? Russian 18, I mean 18, 1818 Smirnoff or Russian Bear is not the best, you feel me? So... That's when you, you tend to compare now. You tend to... And you know, like, once you, you've had sex and maybe you've had it good. Same with maybe smoking weed or, you know. You, now you tend to look for a partner where it's good. And for you to know it's good, you're going to have to sleep with her. And, you know, I was just reading a verse now in First Corinthians. I talked about, you know, do not be deceived uh fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of god and you know it's set deep within me because you know no judgment really comes okay don't get me wrong judgment does be does come on people brothers and sisters who are fornicating but it's not as sudden you feel me so people sleep around maybe their whole lives but only to find that you don't make it into heaven you know and that's what i don't want for myself but yeah i believe in terms of yeah like i'll have sex you know with my wife i will be satisfied i know god you know and i'm trusting god because it's one of the things that used to worry me especially someone that's not sleeping with anyone like that hey god i don't want to get into a marriage and you know this this but i believe god has got me so there's no pressure there there's many brothers and sisters who are virgins just to put it out there maybe they don't make it as public as me but like if you guys do your research there's many brothers and sisters who are virgins and i mean we're okay there's nothing wrong with us um you know like i did for the longest time struggle with masturbation but then you know since i have gotten on semen retention so like now i consider myself pure in terms of you know sexual immorality you know just going without there's temptations there's this but yeah like I go without and I'm really okay. Yeah, another talk, like, yeah, um, brothers look down on you. Sisters might laugh at you, like, make a joke of you. But it really doesn't matter because I know what I'm doing this for and who I'm doing it for, you know. And, and basically, like, no one can change my decision. You know, honestly, I, I'm hoping I don't fall because there's been many temptations there hasn't, you know, like, thank the Lord. He also puts this in the Bible. In 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13, if I'm not wrong, it talks about there's no temptation that has come upon you which is not common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted above what you can handle. It's not the exact words of the verse, but yeah, like, I haven't gotten a temptation where it's above me. Like, like I've been... Also, there was a, to talk about a really crazy temptation and it came out of nowhere. But to give you insight, like recently I was watching different videos. I can't say who I got this knowledge from, but they were like, if you're around someone and you just start thinking lustfully, then it's that person who is a lustful person, you know. But this is all discerned spiritually, if you're someone that's spiritual, but yeah, yeah. If you think lust, lustfully around someone, you that person is lustful. And also, 
to to make sense of this i'm someone who practices semen retention so i don't look to you know what i'm saying to have sex with anyone i look to control myself even around beautiful females you feel what i'm saying but yeah i was recently not recently but i'd say like maybe last year i was at a job interview you feel what i'm talking about i was at a job interview then there's another sister who was also there and it was just two of us like in the waiting room and man like yo i have never felt i wasn't horny not to be explicit but i was so attracted sexually to the sister and she wasn't even as attractive don't don't get me wrong she was attractive in her own right but for me to be that like sexually attracted to her i was like what's going on and that was a question like i had in my mind for the longest like what happened that day you feel me until i came across this information that i, I talked about but like i was like what is going on and there's a point where in that room like electricity went out so it was dark dark and they weren't coming for us for the longest like they gave us a test to write then we had to wait and we we're waiting for the longest but yeah i was just so attracted to that sister. i was like i was even thinking like you know should i get it out you feel? <laughs> and it went dark and you know we had to light with our phones but yeah man you know that yeah that was a tempting experience and you know like your mind plays you know there's fantasies i was thinking really at a job interview you're about to get it on <laughs> it's crazy man but yeah also another thing you know like uh in terms of wanting to to have sex for the longest time like i feel like there was this thing especially in my youth i was pushing to have sex and you know like yeah i was pushing to have sex but I didn't push as hard as I could have. And I also think it's the the grace of God that covered me. Because I was around a lot of brothers and sisters. Especially brothers who are really out here. Brothers who I can call dogs. You know what I'm saying? Like respectful dogs. Respectfully but dogs. Like yeah. So I could have easily turned into a dog as well. You feel me? Like, But you know it's by the grace of God that he pulled me out. Like, brothers that know me as well as sisters are still, like, really surprised, like, that I'm living the life I'm living. They're like, really? You feel me? So, yeah, but, like, for the longest time I wanted to, then I was like, okay, now, nah, like, I kind of fell back. Then I have a brother, man, who, not to expose the brother, but, like, he went into, you know, uh, prost paying prostitutes, you feel me? So, like, he was not ashamed of it. So, like, he told me, like, yeah, this is the way you just pay. Uh, you get what you need to get. These girls are hot, you know. He, like, he'd show me pictures. And I won't lie, man, these sisters that are into prostitution, not to charge them, but they be fire. Like, you would never guess, like, seeing her on the street, you wouldn't, like, disrespect her like that. Like, are you a prostitute? But, yeah, like, they be fire, man. Like, whoo in terms of looks but yeah like he be paying you feel me and you know that really uh like i really interacted with the brother for because he he we're not close he doesn't stay in the same place i stay so when he came or when we met like and we were around each other for that time which was more than a few days it really like he really planted the seed that you know what go sleep with a, a prostitute or go by you feel me like even another brother like when he heard i was a virgin he's like how doozy why don't you just go pay a prostitute like you don't even have to go look for a woman or try you know like with normal sisters it's the the game of waiting you feel me it's like you you spoil her you do this 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 you might have to date her until you finally get a piece of her pie you feel me until she finally lets you in but with a prostitute you know it's a service so yeah like for the longest not for the longest time but after the interaction with the brother it really like corrupted my mind there was a point where i really wanted to to just pay because you know it's also cheap like i won't say how cheap it is but 
man, some sisters be really selling themselves for cheap. And I don't blame them. I don't judge them, you know. God is the one who does all the judging. But yeah, it's so cheap. So I was thinking, why not, like, get this thing over and done with. But you know, by the grace of God, God saved me from that. And I'm forever thankful because it was really on my mind. And you know what I'm saying? Like, but now I also... From that experience, I mean, I'm not married, but I kind of understood what married men, you know, they talk about a lot of married men that go sleep with prostitutes. And I don't know their reasoning behind it, but for me to explain it, it's kind of like you're living straight and narrow. And then there comes these temptations that, that try to tempt you. So, and they tempt you with something you're not experiencing. Feel me, you know, like pe the way people talk about sex, the lyrics, this, this, heaven on earth. So you really like, you really want to get into it. But, you know, it's wrong. It's against God. And I'm thankful that God hasn't tempted me like that or allowed me to lose it. Because, yeah, and I believe, you know, uh, honestly, I'm not specific when it comes to my wife that she must be a virgin. Hopefully so, because... You feel me? I, I'd like, I'd love a sister who's a virgin. But even if you're not, like, I believe, you know, like, who he, the Bible talks about he who finds a wife finds favor from the Lord. So whoever the Lord brings me, whether she slept to someone or not, I believe she's right for me. You feel me? But yeah, um, yeah, sister, there's been also some sisters that, knowing that I'm a virgin, they kind of make themselves available wanting to be my first i don't know what this thing is of being my first but yeah they kind of you know yeah like i've been through that um what else can i say like it's not as hard you know being strong now like knowing god having the spirit of god it's not as hard but i also don't allow myself to be tempted like going to parties like at parties there's temptations man like like, I remember going to this one party and, you know, when you're scouting for females, I looked at this one female and I could tell, like, the way she looked at me. I was like, hey, why are you not even talking to me already? <laughs> so, like, you don't, don't tempt yourself if you're also a virgin or practicing celibacy. Don't tempt yourself above what you, you should, like, going places where you know, man. Yeah, but most of all, what I experience is purity, man, like, there's so many brothers and sisters, which probably they have to talk for me. But like, I feel like they 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 like me because I give off this pureness, and it's only it feels natural to me. But for them, it's probably like, you know, like because nowadays with men, and I'm stereotyping, but like with men, you know, like brothers, uh, you know, like if you can't hold yourself back, brothers love sex. Brothers are not waiting until marriage, like, that is uh, not a norm in this society. So, you feel me? Like, a lot of females getting to know men, they have this thing of, you know, like, hey, you probably want sex. So, you not wanting sex, it really makes you stand out. But they can also take, they try to, what can I say? Let me put the light on one time. I don't know if it will make much of a difference. But the Bakhtata pants, they... They try to make you feel small or because you're a virgin, they try and make it like you don't have knowledge, you're not wise. You know what I'm saying? There's different things on this work, but... And I'm talking weird because, man... Hey, like, yeah, but like, I'm talking kind of weird. But yeah, like, I'm on this journey. Uh, by the grace of God, I've been pushing... Anyone that's a virgin, keep pushing, man. Know that you are loved. People laugh at you, this, this. But it's the right way, honestly. Knowing about soul ties and all. What else can I add? Like, mm, Yeah, it's just also like, because I'm a virgin, I don't mean to judge, but like, I was watching a video where the sister said she had 50 bodies. I was just thinking like, oh, 50 bodies, like. Now nah, that's crazy, like, yo, amen. <laughs> I just, yo, like, 
Hey, but uh, other than that, uh, man, stay on this narrow path. Like, I'm pursuing this narrow path for real. There'll be uh, sisters, like, who just really want to get you, especially older sisters, like, for some weird reason, you know. And honestly, I say weird reason because I have attraction to older sisters, but for me, like, for me to really sleep with an older sister, if I were to go as far as to sleep, and not that I'm never going to sleep with anyone, by the grace of God, I hope that I, I wait until marriage. You know, it's a different generation, there's temptations, but yeah, I really want to go until marriage. But yeah, especially with older sisters, it's like, it's like, for me, it's kind of perverted. Not to judge any of them. Like, I understand you can be interested in me. I'm a little younger. But for you to, like, to be pushing sexually, it's like, hey, man. But, you know, these, these at these times, man, the devil deceives the whole world. People are corrupt. But, yeah, like, um, as the sister said, I believe, you know, there's, there's, we are out here, you know, brothers and Knowing I'm the person I am, I believe also there's a, a girl, a wife for me that is keeping herself pure. There are many of us, it's just that we are not in public eye. But yeah, like, um, but yeah, just believe if you're doing things right, God will bless you. Like, with my wife or as a woman, you're probably thinking, oh, there's no man that is a virgin. Or not even, you know, you get like... If I could say weird virgins, brothers who you can tell why they haven't had sex because they, they're scared of women. Of which I also was, I won't lie, for a certain time I was scared of women. But now that I'm not anymore, you know, I'm saying this, this. But yeah, like, best believe if you're doing right, God will bless you with a man of God. If you, man, I say that, you know, because man of God has been distorted. But yeah, like, God will bless you just... Keep doing what's right when the time is right. Also for me, when the time is right, my wife, which I will be with until until fighting, because I still have to fight, you know, temptations not to sleep. And now when you have a partner, when you're married, you know, it only gets worse, I believe. So, but yeah, just stay faithful to God. I really, I think I've covered all that I had to talk about. Um... You're doing right in the sight of God. Um, yeah, just many temptations like eh, crazy, but just stay strong. And yeah, I also have to talk about it's crazy. Like I feel like also, but females want someone who's experienced. Uh, but this doesn't matter to you if, you know, you're following the Lord. But like back in high school, to just quickly share, I used to be the one who used to, to cap on them, you know, like J. Cole. <laughs> like, yeah, man, I, me, I've been slept with a girl, man, you know, like I'm with me. I'm the one in bed, you feel me? And females were into this. and But to a point where like they're like, okay, like they really want to, to see if you're about that talk, you feel me? So it was crazy that... Uh, the fact that I talked about, you know, like I had girls rub their legs on me. Girls like, I believe if like I really, you know, because you know there's lying. And, but like, you know, I wouldn't consider this lying, lying. I'd consider it like as a tempting kind of lie. But if you take it all the way, it's a different thing. But like, I believe I could have slept with multiple females you know like because once you sleep with one you know what i'm saying i it's only easier to to sleep with a lot or many other once you smoke that first joint or drink alcohol for the first time unless you do it really doesn't sit well with you but you know because it's sex we're talking about guys come on you feel me so yeah but like yeah it's like it is what it is but yeah stay faithful uh trust yourself trust god uh like stay curving the temptations it's crazy out here but yeah all glory to god in jesus name 
yeah like thank you for watching like comment subscribe probably a lot of things i didn't cover also what's i don't like is it's late and you feel me like the the camera tends to not focus but yeah stay trusting god and stay on this path i'm out